Hi there. Now what we've got here is a question where we've got to estimate by linear interpolation the median of this distribution. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't had a chance to do so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back I'll show you how I go about working out this kind of problem. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now the way I'm going to show you is documented in my tutorials. I know a lot of you tend to work off some particular formula. I know of the formula, but I don't really believe in that particular formula. I think it's too complicated, okay? But I leave it up to you. What we do is look at finding the position of the medium, Q2 in other words. And when you've got continuous data, as we have here, all you've got to do is take how many values you've got, which is 85, or the total of your frequency here, and divide by 2. I'm continually asked that, don't we add 1 and then divide by 2? You only need to do that if you've got discrete data. But here we've got continuous data. So the position of the median is half of the 85 values, which turns out to be equal to the 42 point fifth value. Okay, so that's what we've got to locate. And what I like to do is work through here, we'll find out which class interval that 42 point fifth value is going to be. And I can see that we've got two values, okay, here, which are less than 30. Next, if I look at adding 10 and 2, I've got 12 values, which are less than 60, okay? And then we've got 12 plus 17, which is 29. 29 values are less than 70. And then if I add 29 with the 25, we've got 54 values, which are less than the 80. And I can see that the 42.5 value must occur in this interval, 70 to 80. And so what I will do is draw that class interval here, okay, as going from 70 to 80. And what I'm looking for is the 42.5 value. But I know that there are 29 values which are lower than 70, okay? We've got it here. So if I mark a 29 in there, and how many values are lower than 80? Well, I can see that we have got 54, okay? So put 54 there. So the 42.5 value is going to be somewhere in here. And I'm just going to say it's there for argument's sake, okay? And that's Q2, and that's the 42.5 position, okay? And all we need to do is set up a ratio equation, a comparison equation. And so what I do is I look at comparing this width here from 70 to Q2 with this width below. I'll just do that dotted. That's from 29 to 42.5. And it should be in exactly the same ratio or same proportion as this width from 70 to 80 compared with the width from 29 to 54. And so... All I need to do then is set up my equation, which will be this width, that's Q2, minus 70, and that is divided by this width down here, compared with this width, which is 42.5, minus 29, and that ratio is exactly the same as this ratio, this distance compared with this distance, so it's that width is 80 minus 70, and that is divided by the dotted width here in green, which is 54 minus 29. Of course, you could work out these values as you go, all right? I leave it up to you, but it's just to show you the working. This is quite a fast method when you get used to it. So rearranging this for Q2, all I've got to do is times both sides by this denominator here. That will leave me with Q2 minus 70, and then I just add 70. So what we've got then is 
80 minus 70 over 54 minus 29. I'll just put the working in, okay, just to leave it so you can see where all these bits are coming from. And then we would multiply all of this by that interval there, 42.5 minus 29, and then add the 70. And if you work this out, what you should find you get is 75.4. 75.4 then is an estimate for the median. Now, as I say, if you're unsure of this method and just want further practice, do check out my tutorials on this.